will make her change her mind from what she originally envisioned. Because now Moon Spietu is dead, and very likely Estarosa is alive. As Dereria now crashes on the battlefield with the rebel army, with grief in her eyes. Yes, very likely now only gonna go on a suicide mission, so to speak. Oh yeah, and she's back to her naked uh, form again, doing that. Yes, this is an Anatomy Ties I chapter 261. Nothing really big happened here, except Moon Spieto's sacrifice, as he pushes uh, Dere away, uh, and, uh, and she laments over the fact that she can, did not hear his final words. Um, Moon Spieto uh, gra grabs Estarosa and incinerates them both with a hell blaze. Very unlikely surviving, as the as the rebel as the kingdom had finally driven off the demons, all the other people on the armies seems to have many wounds, but some do not seem to have uh, many wounds at all. Hauser, on the other hand, is still keeping his cool and being uh, uh, the being the leader is it's kind of uh, uh, it's kind of good that he's stepping into that. Death Pierce and some other appears to not be wounded, but they appears to be very, uh, very strange. So Elizabeth goes forward and reveals that uh, the Breast of Bliss is a technique known as Sheet Hope, Fraudulent Light, meaning it may enhance in their powers and draw out their outmost limits, but it removes the sensation of fear and pain. And strangely enough, as when Death Pierce uh, marks that, the one who defends them is actually the Archangel Ta Samuel. Well, I guess they really ha have remembered their times uh, together with Elizabeth. Because she's been saying that uh, she spent the days touring and spooked to the hearts of the souls of the demons. And there was the only one that uh, wanted to change. But the demons never responded to their feelings. Because... Uh, so, uh, and when the other said they were useless, another one says that uh, the reason why it was useless was simply because the lower ranked demons um, cannot act against the absolute orders of the highest ranked demons, such as Chandler and Kuzak. Uh, even, uh, and yet many of them still lost the will to fight. And even though Bless of Brief do not heal wounds, so the one that he have healed them wounds is none other than Elizabeth, who has been Constantly heal their wound, wounds. So while Ludus Yell blesses people with nothing but absolute death, Elizabeth is the one who blesses them with absolute life. With that, uh, she wants nothing to survive. And strangely thing enough, uh, uh, and uh, this seems to break the death pierce illusion a little bit more, as she has said, but I just want you all to never forget there's someone you love, hoping and praying you're safe and harmed. As the people, uh, thinking back, remember their loved ones. And then we see a klutzy Elizabeth moment. As is a bit of adorable moment. But then it takes the turn for worse as a very huge pressure suddenly arises and crashes on the ground. And it, uh, uh, and as everyone surrounds it, it's indeed Derrer who, ha who has now arrived with saddened eyes. Is it very likely she will now go on a rampage? After all, we have the Archangels here, and they were the ones responsible for her sister's death. And uh, even though she appears to may have forgotten, no, forgiven Elizabeth back then, very unlikely she fully has. However, um, now she has grief, as I said before, she has grief in her eyes. And when people have grief, they will always go on a rampage. So, well... Um, uh, the so she has nothing to lose anymore. She can just decide to go on a rampage and kill herself and kill everything around herself more. Next chapter is called "The One Twisted by Darkness." So well, uh, one. I guess it's meant to imply that she has uh, she is now so dark into her darkness that she no longer has reason but that is uh, uh, still though are those eyes that 
one that are gonna go on a rampage or are those the eyes that no longer have the will to fight who knows that uh, will make a very valuable ally but I doubt that will happen at least it can't be that easy so that's basically the chapter again nothing happened except Moon Spieto's presumed death and Elizabeth chewing once again she is Ludashell's counterpart everything Ludashell uh, does Elizabeth counters and this also seems to imply that the other archangels while still looking down on the other humans of course it appears they still really do respect Elizabeth despite everything strange but you give me a fault if you have any <laughs>